In our next lesson, we're going to add and subtract properly with decimals. So two important things to remember. When you add or subtract with decimals, we're going to write the numbers vertically, and we're going to line them up by place value. So the decimal points will be above each other. The numbers in the ones position will be above each other. The numbers in the tenths positions will be above each other. Now, what this will often cause to happen are gaps in numbers. What I mean by that is not both numbers will be the same length. And that's not a big deal. We just add zeros to the end of the shorter decimal. And by shorter, I mean whichever one doesn't go all the way. So that both numbers are the same length. So let me show you some examples. Our first example is subtraction. And these decimals are the same length. They both have two places. So we can write this vertically. It's 2.56 minus 1.32. Just drop the decimal point and treat this like normal subtraction. 6 minus 2 is 4, 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. It's 1 1.24. Next we have addition, and these numbers all have different place values. So, watch, we do 1.5. 9 goes in the 1's position, and 0 0.47. We're adding. Now, you will notice very quickly there's quite a bit of gaps here. Fill in the gaps with zeros. Adding a zero onto the end of a number after a decimal point does not change its value. Drop your decimal point straight down, and now you can treat this like a normal subtraction problem. Sorry, it's an addition problem. Treat this like a normal addition problem. 0, 0, 007 is 7, 504 added up make 9, 1 and 9 make 10. Okay, line these up 168.7, 89.883. We're adding. I need to look, make these even, so I need to tack on a couple of zeros. No big deal. Add them up. We get 3, 8, 15. Carry the 1. Decimal point gets dropped straight down. 1 and 9 is 10, and 8 is 18. Carry the 1. 1 and 6 is 7. 7 and 8 is 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we have 22 minus 4.63. So 4 is in the 1's place. It goes underneath the 2 that's in the 1's place. which means these aren't quite the same length. That's okay. There's an invisible decimal point on the end of 22, and we can add some zeros after it. Now, drop the decimal point straight down and treat it like a normal subtraction problem. We need to borrow from this 2 to make the first 0 10, so that I can borrow from that, make it 9, to make this 0 10, so that I can actually subtract. 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 6 is 3, Borrowing again from this 2 to make this 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. And 1 minus nothing is 1. 